Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, um, hey, you set up there, man. That was an uh, Amazon guy, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, good morning. <laughs> or afternoon, if you're in the UK. Or welcome to the replayers. <laughs> we just had to get up and answer the door. We had a delivery, didn't we? Freddie, how exciting. <laughs> I'll open it in a minute. I think I know what it is. So exciting. Hi, Mitzi. Oh, yes, Jack here and little Freddie. Oh, so nice to see you, Mitzi. Really lovely. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I shall just carry on doing some of this. As you can see, let's see, I have a metal frame here and I've got some ribbon, although you could use bits of material, rags. Here's Kimberly. Here's, here's a project for you to use your husband's shirt. <laughs> no shirt of Kimberly's husband is going to be safe now. <laughs> Not after you've seen this project. <laughs> oh, Deb, good morning. So nice to see you. I know that Deb is going to be uh, crafting along with us and you're going to be doing probably no pressure. You're going to, I expect you'll be doing the um, props later. So lovely. So lovely to see you. So lovely to start start the day with one another. It's lovely to start the week even. Oh, there's Mrs. Gigi. Oh, there's a video, a process video to watch for Friday's hop. The hop's coming up and that's on my list. I've written it down. I want to see lovely Mrs. Gigi's process video. It's a new thing that's happening uh, this, this month. I, I've just been watching lovely Mary from the Mary Artier. Her beautiful doll she made yesterday evening. There's Sylvia, Sylvia D. Oh, so nice to see you. I've been following Sylvia D on Instagram. Lovely art. I love it. And I'm going to follow over. I I believe you have a, a YouTube channel too. So I shall be, I can leave a link actually for that and I'll be exploring that. I love your art, Sylvia. I really do. Lovely. Really paper dolly, lots of one, wasn't there? And windows and doors. I love it. Oh, and there's Candy. Good morning, Candy. Look at Freddie's very alert, isn't he? We just had a parcel delivery. There's Dar. <laughs> Dar. Um, my my Amazon man must have been very busy because he's he, and he's delivered it already. We've been tracking it. It's a parcel from Dar, and I'm going to open that. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to open it on stream. What fun. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dar. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Gigi. You're, you've shared um, Sylvia's channel. I'm going to catch up on that. Yes. How wonderful. Oh, there's lovely Beth. Oh, Beth, dear. You're up early. Oh, how are you? How are you? And I'm just moving that so you can see the young master's head. <laughs> oh, how are you, Beth, dear? And Joe. Oh, Beth. I was very impressed by Joe. He was carving a stamp for you. Wasn't that amazing? I'm so impressed. <laughs> oh, impressed with everything you do, obviously. Oh, he's just so helpful, isn't he, Beth? You're doing good. Lovely. There's Val. Good morning, Val. <laughs> oh, happy Monday, everybody. And there's Alicia. Oh, good morning, Alicia. Oh, how lovely. Here's Carol. 
Nicole Carroll's got some process videos up on her channel. So Mary, Mrs. Gigi, and I don't want to leave anybody out. And Aunt Bex and, and Carol have got process videos up from for Friday's hop. Becky, Becky, Beth will be streaming on the hop, won't you, Beth? Um, Beth and Beth's been busy. The theme is dolls, <laughs> and you've been busy, haven't you, Beth? Making a doll journal, a paper doll journal. I'm very, I'm very in love with it. <laughs> There's Barbara. Oh, if I miss you, it's because I missed the chat and it scrolls up. I nearly missed. <laughs> mm. Oh, Beth dear oh there's plenty of room for everybody oh Beth dear oh you could be I can't do this you could be clever and do both oh when I first started here I, I I'd never heard of Dee Dee so that's why I started the Monday mornings I do apologize yes oh Beth says yes it's dolls 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 for Friday ah oh, for Friday's hop Oh, so exciting. <laughs> There's lovely Barbara. Are you walking today, Barbara? Are you off at? Sometimes it's snack time. Our lovely Barbara um, goes for a walk, don't you? And here's lovely Janet USA. Oh, Janet, wasn't that a lovely, that lovely doll that... Um, Mary made last night. I watched the catch up this morning. Ah, oh, it's ah oh, so lovely. Such a simple idea. Such a simple idea. I'm popping out a process video tomorrow. Um, so that'll be that'll be out. And Mary has a playlist. I think I posted the playlist on. On in Beth's group, and it's on Mary's announcement tab tabs. I think on her. Oh, thank you, Beth dear. Oh, so lovely, so lovely to start the. Oh, sounds so lovely to start the week off with you. Now, all you need is a a metal hoop. Now. I, this is me. I'm probably saying something that a lot of the Amer our American friends. Hi, Christina. Welcome. 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 <laughs> so nice to see you. All our American friends. I, I, I'm very influenced by you. And maybe the Canadians too do this. They make wreaths. We use, in England, we have Christmas wreaths. But now, Aunt, Aunt Bex did a did did one I think maybe that was Christmas with fabric but I made an Easter one and I thought I'm going to make a fall one too with fall leaves and colours and I thought I'd make a summer one <laughs> now in the title there's Angie Janet you're going to stay as long as you can and you have sinuses oh oh Angie, I'm sorry you're still suffering with that. Do you know that can be really, really painful? Oh, hugs, hugs to you. Mm. Ah, and here is Deborah Joy. Deborah Joy. We usually catch up, don't we, at Tina Attache's live on a Sunday morning. And a lot of the times I you go into Beth's when I'm probably asleep, so we miss one another, don't we? And you watch. Oh, uh, Mrs. Gigi, thank you so much for the link, putting in the links, and Janet too, and make sure there's a link for um Mrs. Gigi's channel there if, if you can. Um we want to see your your videos and streams and and your doll process video. Mm. 
Oh. Oh, Carol, am I getting confused now? You're a Canadian too. Uh, Barbara says, Canadians make wreaths, but not this Canadian. <laughs> Well, I remember when I went to New York, oh, the, the decorations were just wonderful. And, and on people's doors and the shop fronts, and I love it. <laughs> so this is summary. Now, I will admit to you, yep, you're Canadian. Oh, lovely, Canada in the house. And I know on the replay that New Zealand will be in the house and Australia will be in the house. So welcome. We welcome the world this morning. <laughs> oh, I know. We didn't know that, did we, Barbara? I know that Barbara lives near Sherry, quite near, don't you? And Sherry has just put out a video. I think I may have mentioned that. Did I mention it last week? Because I was so inspired by it. Made a journal from a tissue box. I'll say no more because it would be lovely for you to go and explore that. <laughs> There's Suze. Good morning, Suze. Mm. Oh. You're in Southern Ontario. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, oh, Deborah, so nice to see you. Oh, now I do hope that you're going to be able to do some art this week, Deborah. You could do it, go in your lovely studio. Oh, that would be lovely. Hmm. You have Southern France in the house too. Are you from southern France, Sylvia? Ah, oh, how absolutely wonderful. Is this the first French person we've ever had or person who lives in France on the stream? Oh, wonderful. We have Sweden in the house. Welcome, Mrs. Gigi. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's Cheryl. You have split hearing. Oh, and your boyfriend's chatting. Oh, listen to your boyfriend. That's so nice. Good morning, Pierre. Pierre comes from Canada, doesn't he? Good morning, Pierre. Maybe Pierre would like to listen to me. <laughs> I don't know. Does he join in the craft videos? Um, Cheryl, like Joe. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and bonjour, <laughs> says Barbara Chicken Pot Pie. <laughs> That's probably the limit to my French. Oh, how lovely. Oh, let me put that down just in case I forget. How lovely. Oh, Alicia. <laughs> we, Alicia loves everything. French, don't you? And and you, we follow the Chateau Diaries, some of us. Jean, if you're there in the replay, Jean, and Alicia and I watch the Chateau Diaries. I can leave a link down below. So we're quite partial to a little bit of um, France, aren't we? You live close to Spain, actually. Barcelona is too two hours away. Oh, Barcelona would be a beautiful place to visit. Gosh, yes. Wow. Very, very arty city. I presume you've been there, Sylvia. Mm. Yes, you get better soon, Angie. And rest. Don't feel you have to tap into chat. We'll keep you company. Mm. Oh, Tina, Tina, did I say good morning to you? Have I forgotten? <laughs> oh, good morning. Do you know, when I went to my parents, this was really, I bought my, I'm going to admit to you, that's what I was admitting. You, oh, Barbara loves the Chateau Diaries too. Me, me, says Barbara, I do. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Gigi loves Barcelona. You're quite well travelled, aren't you? Um, Mrs. Gigi, you travelled with your 
your parents, didn't you, all those years ago? Yes, yes. Oh. Well, yes, what am I admitting to you? Well, I didn't have a lot of fabric scraps, not this size, because it takes quite a lot to do this. Or I have a box with ribbons in and strings, but probably not enough to do this. I think I just fancied treating myself. It was a kit. So I bought the kit. It came with the ring and this bit. I haven't got a link. It, it, they, they didn't actually put their name on the paperwork. And now I can't remember who I bought it from. Melissa. Oh, mm. good morning, Melissa. So nice to see you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so yes, but now after seeing Whispering Cauldron, see, we inspire one another. What size hoop am I using? Says the Canadian who doesn't make wreaths, but you're right, I need to be specific, don't I? It's 12 inches, actually, yes. <laughs> 12 inches and each ribbon piece is six inches so I yes I was so inspired by Whispering Cauldron hanging her washing on the line and it wasn't her husband's shirts or her undies it was actually she dyed some fabric and she'd hung it on the line. And, and I thought, goodness me, Jana, you did not think laterally, and I admit it. Oh, Melissa says she's making paper dolls. Oh, fantastic. I saw some of your paper dolls, Melissa, in, um, in Beth's Facebook group. Absolutely love them. <laughs> oh, you're laughing, aren't you? Uh, you're laughing at me, yes. That's the best thing to wash your 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 um your fabric, isn't it, Carol? So on eBay, you can get these brass hoops for say one pound fifty, two pound. I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Sue, have you had a lovely holiday? Oh yes, you're on your way home from Snowdonia. Oh, how lovely. Oh, what a beautiful part of Britain. Wow. I, I visited Snowdon with the boys and I thought, that's a place, even when I was there, I thought this is a place I want to revisit. Absolutely beautiful. I bet it's nice and green because of all the rain as well, Sue. Ah, oh, you'll show me some photos. Fantastic. Thank you, Sue. Yes. Isn't it stunning? Were you able to go up Snow Snowden? I know, I think there's um, a railway that goes up. We went in the winter, so it wasn't possible to go up. Is it a funicular railway, Sue? Mm. So, yes, you can buy these really quite reasonably, the hoop. So then I'm going to carry on with my ribbons. And when I was at my parents, it was just lovely just to snip the rolls of ribbon in, into the six inches. It, it was just, yeah. You can't walk, Sue. Um, the, the view, the sheep. And I, I just so lovely, so lovely. Cheryl's getting coffee. Yes, quite understand that. Yes. Mm. In Canada, French is our alternative language. Labeling is in English and French. So you're bilingual, I, I believe, um, Barbara. Um, I lift my hat off to you. Yes, gosh. I'm not, not at all. Just speak English, I'm afraid. Um, yes. Mm. 
you you were the photo girl taking all the photos fantastic fantastic so what i'm going to do is check through the airing cupboard see if there's an old white cotton sheet there and do some dyeing with inks or sprays or whatever i can find or or paint and inspired by a lovely carol from the whispering cauldron i'm going to my my autumn one will be made with my own hand dyed fabric <laughs> silly me not thinking outside the box that's why this community is just so lovely we inspire one another and if you notice if you do ever go back to any of my videos i um our lovely barbara chicken pot pie shares some wonderful videos with me and quite often i leave links to them in my past videos um in the ones i did last week for instance i think i left some because barbara has been looking out into the world on youtube and has been inspired by some amazing artists so I will leave, there will be, when this is processed, I will leave a link for the latest video. This man uses his house. It's, he's actually turned his house into a museum. I can't remember where the house was now. And he's an artist, absolutely amazing. Mm. Oh, oh, and you've got a Canadian boyfriend. Ah. Oh. How lovely. It's a small world. It's a small world after all. Makes me sound like a Muppet, doesn't it, I think? <laughs> you Muppet. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yes, that's it's pure and simply tying on ribbons. It just gives you, just gives you a little idea <laughs> of what, what you can do. Yeah, because you might, you might have a lot of ribbons or scrap fabrics, or like me, you might want to treat yourself, or because you're worth it, <laughs> you might, you might, it's wonderful, I love to upcycle that, you can, there we are, let's just tie another one, oh, tying and, tying and talking, obviously not something that I'm doing, Keep, keep your hat on, Janet, or as we would might say, keep your hair on. <laughs> you have a vocabulary of 20 words. You're not bilingual. Oh, you probably have a vocab of, because of your, um, your, your line of work that you're in, you probably have a vocabulary of quite a few languages, don't you? Mm. You, Angie, you made one with fabric. Oh, Angie, I'm not showing you anything new, am I? I just, yes, I bet that's beautiful. Melanie made me a small one with Christmas fabric. Treasure it. Bring it out every time. This is just a little reminder because you probably are getting ready to do, maybe, um, uh, an autumn one, a fall, as you 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 would say. Ah, oh, where's Gail? I've missed Gail's comment. Um, now Teresa, good morning, welcome, Teresa. I do hope your hand is healing well. How's it going? And I've missed a comment. See if I scroll. See if I can scroll up. Is this our lovely Gail Ann? Have I missed something? Oh, no, I'm missing that altogether. Maybe you could tell, talk to me again, Gail Ann, if I've missed you. Mm. Oh, there's Gail Ann. Sorry you can't chat much on your tablet. You aggravated your right knee. Oh, you can hardly walk. Oh, you can't sit at the PC. Oh, no. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, 
A lovely girl, Anne. So sorry to hear that. Oh, yes. It's, yes, don't you type in. We'll keep you company. Yes. How lovely. Now, does that affect you going to see your father, or your dad? or? Mm. Most of the time, Teresa's wrist is okay, but there are days that it gets swollen. Yes. Oh, is it so tempting? It must be so tempting to use your hand. Yes. Mm. And, and is, it, is it when you've used it too much? Yeah, I know Rick is being very, very good and very helpful. It's hard, isn't it? Because we use our hands all the time and we use our knees and our legs. Oh, sending love. Mm. Yes, that's right. Angie says, you rest, don't do much. You're always busy, gal. Mm. And you won't be able to drive. It does affect that. Have you got someone that can help you with the driving, girl, and dear? Because that does affect you, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's very tempting, says Teresa. Yes, to use your hands. So tempting. And you must do that without even thinking. Yes. Mm. Uh, yeah, so that's my, I will post a picture when it's finished, but it's just really good therapy. I'm not, I'm just doing it randomly. I put some of these round. I'm just sort of doing it by eye. I think, oh, I haven't, yeah, I'm just doing it randomly really. As just a, a relaxing exercise. This is something you could do sitting in front of the TV or not a very good one for you at the moment. Too much, too much use of your hand, Teresa, isn't it? Mm. Uh, there, oh, Tammy. Good morning, Tammy. And good morning, Dorinda. So nice to see you. Happy Monday. And Dorinda, it must be getting nearly time for you to start your new job. I don't know when you'll be around um when you're you're working or whether you will become a replayer then or probably not you won't even have time to do replays will you yeah good morning Anne oh so nice to see you I enjoyed um being in your 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 Facebook group chat that was lovely very relaxing to sit and do some sewing with the girls. <laughs> yes, it was lovely. Hmm. Oh, so I'm going to put this away. If you've just come in, it's just a 12 inch ring and the ribbons or fabric you cut to be six inches. And we're saying my next one, I'm going to be dyeing some, uh, I'm going to get a, an old fabric sheet an old bed sheet and I will be look at that I love the beach <laughs> oh oh thank you Teresa I bet I bet lovely Beth likes this blue one it's quite beachy the colours isn't it thank you hmm. oh thank you Anne I I will be I will show you my next one because that will involve dyeing fabric. It's just, I find this community so inspiring all the time. How many projects do we have on the go? Mm. Yeah. Oh, as Dorinda. Dorinda, I might have asked Dorinda a question and then I'm not listening to what. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. It was just relaxing to do when I was at my parents. It's quite mindless and we do like mindless activities. There we are. Uh, so, yes, let's pop that away. Yes. Oh, Joe says he loves it. I can see you with one of these, Beth. 
in blue. <laughs> so yeah, treat yourself to new ribbon if you want to, or um, do some fabric dyeing. I've changed my drop sheet to a magazine. It's a little gardening magazine, and I can I'll be going back and using the paper. But I just every so often I just turn it over and I've got a fresh sheet. Just an idea. Mm. Yes, Angie, we do miss Laura, don't we? Our lovely Laura Sullivan, and we just um are so pleased that she's having a wonderful summer with her with her family. Yes. So why did I start experimenting with this? I I think, oh yes, I was looking up. I was making new prompts. That's what it was. And I saw this background technique. Sylvia loves blue. I think a lot of people do, don't they? I think I love all colours. I, I really do. I can't say I was taken by yellow and orange this summer. I love purple. I just love all colours. And rainbows. <laughs> oh. So this background technique, and I thought, oh, I'm going to experiment. So they got a new roll there. And I've got some sprays. I've got most of my homemade ones were bunged up. I need to soak those in hot water. But I do have three of these ones. Prisma Glimmer Mist. They're not they're water soluble ones. Again, I'm not showing you anything new. I think sometimes it's just nice to think, oh, I haven't done that for a while. Let's have a go. <laughs> Freddie's given up. He's fallen asleep. So you just squirt through there. And I thought, oh, that's... That's fun. Let's lift it higher, see what happens. Sometimes it's just nice to experiment. Ooh, lovely. So then I started looking at other things in the recycling. I've worn him out. Oh, yes, Teresa. He's been out for a walk already this morning. Well, let's wipe its little bottom, shall we? He's been out for a walk already this morning. And then I had to take the car in. The brakes were a bit squeaky. So something wrong with the discs, I think, Joe. Not sure. Hope it's not the brake pads, I think. And, and then he had to walk back from the garage. He is absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I shake it up. Oh, yes, Beth, a very simple idea, something that's been done before. And then just go around searching for round things. You'll have lots of ideas. Mm. Take. Oh, take a sp um, candy. Candy's got bronchitis, bless you. How are you, Candy? Honey, you're right. Honey and lemon is wonderful. Some people might say a little bit of whiskey as well. Mm, yes. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. <laughs> You've never seen this before. Yeah, I was looking up um, art prompts and this came up on backgrounds. So let's just, ooh. So it's a case of, ooh, one can layer it. Um, let's just see what happens. Oh no, that just didn't, no, that's fine. Um, fine. Let's just do that, yeah. Don't waste any, so I'm just gonna do this. This computer paper, Mary Poppins in the room. <laughs> oh, Violet, good morning. Nice to see you. Oh, 
And Violet joins the rooms as well. Um, and Les room, don't you? There we are. That one's dry. It dries it off as well. And there's a shimmer that's probably not showing up. Ooh, let's just try my homemade one. The bottle that doesn't clog. It's just got a wide nozzle, so it, it does go everywhere. Be warned. Stand back, Mo. Is it? Oh, no, it just goes. Oh, it runs. Oh, <laughs> that's my homemade one. I did too much, but it's lovely. I love it. Ooh, lovely. Oh, loving this. Oh, nothing better than getting in a mess, is there? Ooh, I love that. Let's run it down. It's a gorgeous colour. That was a Sharpie put in alcohol ink. But as I say, I've been a little bit lazy with... Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, a big wave to everybody from Violet. Oh, so nice that you came. Popped over. That's so lovely. You've got your magazine. Fantastic. Fantastic. You, you're doing an amazing job with those paper dolls. I love that. I'm just going to take a, like a little print of that. Oh, I was telling you, this paper looks like lollipop trees. Oh, lollipop trees. Yeah. <laughs> we do a paint blob. Oh, Beth. If you see and I make one that you would like me to send you so you can do a paint blob, let me know. <laughs> if you haven't watched our wonderful Beth live Tuesday, Thursdays, Saturdays at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, join us. And she does this wonderful thing called paint blobbing where she creates pictures <laughs> oh isn't that color lovely it's a it's an interesting color combo isn't it that's what you get when you experiment i love experimenting so then i had a takeaway i had a takeaway piece of cake but it didn't come in polystyrene which I was pleased about so I bought the cake box home to recycle and then I thought happy Monday Samantha <laughs> that's what I thought I, I thought oh let's try using this try another colour shall we <laughs> oh Vanessa good morning we're just having a huge experiment today I've got a dress on that it doesn't matter. Oh, isn't that all my clothes though? Ridiculous. Mm. So nice to see you, Samantha. Let's see, did that come out? Oh, it came out as a heart. I love that. So I literally just, you can cut any shape. You could say it's like a stencil, but I'm presuming if you do, it. If you do it as a stencil, you get a crisper edge. But if you do it as that, you, you get a fuzzy edge. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> fabulous. Absolutely fabulous, darling, says some Beth. Mm, I love it. What else have I got? I got. Let's just let's just try the green again, shall we? Try the green again. It's very blobby. Um. Oh no! It just it just comes out in a no. That's fine. It it's just the type of nozzle it was. But I quite like it. It's just like a drip. I think I might be able to make some. Oh, I might be able to make some really good paint blobs for Beth. Hold on, hold on. Let's send, is that one too busy? Let's do this one for Beth. 
Mm. Let's just ooh, love it. <laughs> there we are. Do you think if I sent you this, Beth, this sheet, you'd be able to get something from it? Ooh, maybe not a paint blobby. Could my maybe make a whole picture? <laughs> I said fabulous, and and um. He popped his head up, did he? It's probably the way I said it as well. Yeah, he probably thought, it's getting to be snack time. <laughs> oh. Mm. So there we are. That was, and then I thought, ooh, would this work? So, do you know, I don't think I can remember. So let's do this on Beth's. Beth, shall I send... Do you think you could get something from this, dear, if I sent you this one? Let's try this one. And let's just go down the hole, see what happens. Oh, it makes a little dot. What? You might need that in your art sometimes. I quite like that. Let's just do... Oh, actually, they have come quite misty. I'm just doing this on Beth because she might be able to make something out of these dots. It will be wending its way to you, Beth. <laughs> I love that. Oh, one more, one more. What came in this box? Oh, I think it was vine tomatoes. Mm. Came in there. You could do it with the chat's help. Oh, yeah, definitely. But right, let's put Beth's name on this one so I don't forget. I could put the date on as well, couldn't I? 9, 8, 21. We do it back to front to you, don't we? <laughs> That's it. I'll pop that down there. Wonderful. Let's just have... I don't want to spoil this one because that's that's a nice background. Yeah, that's a super background. Mm. Yes, Deb was here this morning. Yes. Deb's home now and um, and healing and getting much better, Angie, dear. There, let's turn this over. And let's see, I just made made a rectangle. And I can't remember what happened or why I made a rectangle. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it does work. Yeah, I like that. And let's just not waste any of that that came on there. Oh, I like that. There we are. So just a little share with you. There we are. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So that's nice and dry now. Oh, I was saying this computer paper. Yeah, that's right. It's different, isn't it, Suze? Did I say good morning to you, Suze? <laughs> oh, yes, that's it. Nearly time. Get yourself ready, Kim. <laughs> Nearly time. <laughs> there we are. So let's pop this in here there we are there where should I put that oh where should I put it precariously balanced here put it on top of there loving that yes this paper was Papa's and it used to be from her, his computer and we've got a whole big box of it Wonderful, and the boys used to use it for their painting. Well, it's been going a long time. I love it. Nice and shiny. If you prefer this one, say, actually, would you prefer, or do you want both there? Which one would you prefer there? You can see a big bird in a forest on this one. Up, Suze. That's why I'm here, Suze. You, you just relax back and hopefully we can all help in a little way. Yeah, you don't have to type in at all. Yeah. 
um, yes, we're here for you and we know, I know you're here. Yes, let me just, yeah, yeah, I know you're there, um, Suze. And welcome to anybody that's in the background, gently listening. You're so welcome. Whatever you send, oh, Beth, <laughs> I'll get those in the post. Pre um, post haste, yes. Um, mm. Gail, yes, you understand. And some people really understand that too. Yeah, I'll, I'll read the chat out because sometimes people can't hear either. I got a parcel. I got a parcel from Amazon Prime and I know who it's from. It was actually being tried to be delivered on Saturday, but we were out. We were with Matt and his new puppy. What do you think of the new puppy, um, Freddie? Oh, poor Freddie opened his eyes. Oh, the puppy is so lively. Poor young Freddie. <laughs> he doesn't know what's hit him. Oh. Mm. Oh, Angie says that you're very... Oh, there you are. There you are, dear Deb. Yes. Deb's going to join in the prompts later. Yes. Yeah. Deb's been very brave, aren't you, Deb? And yes. <laughs> we can do this. We can. We're in this together. Yes. Mm. Alicia says, "May you feel better soon." Yes. Yes. Oh. And Janet USA says, "Really good to see you, Deb. Really lovely." Yeah, we're here to keep each other company. We're here to look at little Freddy and <laughs> maybe get a little bit of our inspiration as we go. <laughs> Or I can share with you who I've been inspired by in the week. The discipline to wipe these. I will do some more spraying next week. I promise I will soak those, my homemade sprays. Make sure I haven't got any anything on my hands. Oh, look, and this is Gigi and Mitzi oh, are saying saying hi to you and Dar is saying hi to you Deb too. That's lovely, really lovely. Thank you. Cheryl's giving a little pat to our lovely Freddy. Now this is from Wipe Their Noses. That's what Laura used to say, isn't it? <laughs> oh Deb is saying a blanket hello. Absolutely, yes, definitely. Mm. Suze, you've got a new puppy. All your babies are mad at me. Her name is Betty. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, Suze, what type of puppy? You must be exhausted. What type of puppy is she? You, you, Freddie's usually really good and he's very friendly with people and dogs, but I think, yes, he'll get used to Cooper. But <laughs> oh, Betty. Oh, that's so lovely. That's my mum's name, Suze. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Now this is from Dar. Mm, so I'm going to open this. <laughs> we just hold on. I'm not going to take the glory away from Sue for the minute when opening this, because I, you're, people are saying congratulations to you, Sue. Oh yes. And Angie says thank you, Beth, for your help. Oh. Oh no, um, Angie's not on Facebook, um, Beth dear. Mm. Russell and Mutt, she is small. Oh, she's a, a Jack Russell, sorry. Taiwanese, Taiwanese, we're used to it. And, and a Mutt. Oh, Jack Russell and Mutt. Oh, Fred, Freddie's friend is a parson. Russell or some, something like a Jack Russell and a mix of lots of different things. His little friend Honey, who you've seen. Ah, mm. oh, darn autocorrect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, welcome. You met the new member of the family. Ah, oh, how lovely. Mm. <laughs> now, da, thank you for sending me a parcel. Oh, how lovely. Oh, wow. 
Oh my. Oh my. It's called New Amish Amish Quilt. Oh my lord. Look at this. It's quilting fabric. Quilting squares. Dark. How wonderful. This is amazing. It, it This did come dark while it was meant to be while I was streaming. It's literally when I first started the stream. Freddie and I were at the door with our lovely Amazon driver called Ryan, who's had a very busy day, hasn't he, Dar? Dar, dear, are you still here? Oh, I do hope you are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Fabric for me to play with. Look at this. Let me measure it. Let's make sure it's clean. It is eight inches by eight inches. I should have known that from scrapbooking days. Oh, that is, look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Look at this. What, what a, da, da, you're there. Ryan had 43 stops. He must be worn out. I know. We've been following his progress, haven't we? Oh, oh, da. Oh, so thoughtful of you. So thoughtful. Absolutely so thoughtful. Gosh. And then just wow, the variety. I'm just going to go through it like this. Because I think everybody wants to see. Oh, Patty, good morning. Oh, you're spending time at your daughter's while you recover from a, your right knee replacement surgery. Left knee already done. And you're doing well. Oh, Patty, so nice to see you in chat. And you're, you're, you're sitting there with your leg up, you're at your daughter's. Oh, how lovely. Oh, and after that, you'll be, ah, oh, you'll be ready to go. You, you have to start walking quite quickly, don't you? Oh, look at this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Abs oh, my goodness. I'm going to say, is each one different? Oh, look at this one with the blue. Can you see okay? Mm. Oh, it's absolutely, oh my goodness, I don't want to rush it. Beautiful, goodness me. Thank you. That, oh my gosh. Wow, absolutely beautiful. What's it? Oh, did it say on the packet? Where did the packet go? Gosh, 50 pieces, eight by eight inches, 50 pieces, I, lovely fabric. Da, I feel so spoiled. Thank you so much. Ooh, we love this one. Am I being drawn to green? I think it's because I just sprayed that wonderful limey green. Mm. Thank you, um, Patty. They just arrived on Amazon from Dar. Dar is Cheshire Cat in chat. Mm. Oh, that! Oh, look at this one. Look at this one, Kimberly. It's got a holly hobby on it. Oh. Oh, how lovely. Oh, butterflies, goodness me, dots, polka dot bikini. Oh, I know. Wow. Oh, goodness me. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look, Gail Ann. Here's one for Lizzie. Oh, what, what an amazing selection. Isn't that gorgeous? For the minute, I think I'd be flicking through them. But that when I get one in prompts, if we get one, Angie says they would <laughs> they would make cute yo-yos, wouldn't they, Angie? I know. Angie says she's got yo-yos on the brain. Angie, how are you getting on? Correct me if I'm wrong. Did you say that you were making 600 yo-yos for a project? Beautiful, beautiful, and they're so complementary to one another and so different. I love the way they're 
then you get the dots and then you get the different oh hawaiian oh there's there is mm. there's a fabric for every occasion here absolutely gorgeous amish quilting is that is that a thing i'll have to look it up yes janet you are making six hundred yo-yos for a project janet usa who is janet usa is the queen of embellishments and you're right and um angie is the queen of yo-yos queen of yo-yo okay absolutely oh very retro back another colored dot gosh goodness me i am oh another dot of oh, gorgeous stars Oh, wonderful. Oh, look at the colours, the colourways on these. It's a great bunch of fabrics, yes. Mm, absolutely amazing. Mm. Um, are we allowed to ask Angie what the project is, what you are making, or is it something you want to make first and then share? Such a variety. Oh, the roses. Beautiful. I mean, wow. Da. I'd, I'd like to say I'm speechless, but I'm not speechless. I'm talking. Oh, yeah. oh wonderful. Oh, look at that. Oh, just gives you great ideas. Is that purple and red together? Purple and red, they go really well together. Wow. Just gives you ideas too. Um, you'll make it first and then you will tell us. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Gosh, da. You will see me using this. I do you know what I know what needs to happen and that you will see me. Oh, I love that one. It's muted muted colors it's like it's got a gesso white wash over it mm. for whatever the mood takes me yes Beth I'm going to make a um a flow journal a small one out of um an envelope just for these so I can flick through yes mm. you will see that next week fabric butterflies for the fabric journal when I'm making little fabric angels or fabric fairies. Mm. Yet yeah, nice for angels and dolls. Mm. Wonderful. Oh, um, wasn't that an Amish doll? Who made that doll? Was that Laurie on her process video where she made a um, she's got squares of, oh circles of fabric yes can't recommend these process videos more highly mm. wonderful that's lovely geometric pink oh look at them such such a variety that one will be nice in my seaside journal mm. it's a beautiful bunch yes Sue's orange. <laughs> it is, yes, a beautiful, beautiful bunch. Thank you. And next week I will show you my fabric flow. Gosh. So I can always flick through them. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, there's another one like that where it's it's muted that gives you a lovely idea if you're designing fabric just to give all of your pages just to give it that lovely light gesso over i don't remember seeing that one mm. gosh it's like when you get a new book i think i shall enjoy flicking through these not using them for a little while but then, you know me, actually, I just, oh, 
the greatest compliment for happy mail is just plowing straight in isn't it i usually just plow straight in mm. Mm. gosh wow absolutely wonderful i was trying to make out that sort of like an anime picture I'm trying to work out what it is no i heard this wonderful saying and it says i know sue's orange roses ah. <laughs> um Oh, what I tried to remember it last week. It's something about not know. You know, people say, "Oh, what is art? What is it?" You don't need to know what your art is or someone's art is because you don't. You don't know. Uh, you don't understand what's happening in real life. So, art's a bit like that too. <laughs> there's there's some um, lovely Alison. Good morning, Alison. Happy Monday. Mm. The fabrics are breathtaking. Thank you, Teresa. You put it into words that I couldn't manage. Thank you. <laughs> um, Alison, have you just finished your 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 exercise? Just having your oatmeal, maybe. Oh. Mm. Just pet them for a while, says Kimberly. I know. I know. I might just do that. Mm. <laughs> Mm. oh there's melissa busy making paper dolls we've gone doll crazy haven't we we'll, there'll be more process videos coming and also um the hop is this friday it starts at 5 54 central time in the morning and in the evening it starts again at five past four so you get a little gap for a break you can sort yourself out just let's have a little snack together shall we it's victoria sponge again i'm sorry <laughs> not a new recipe but it's the last slice uh, and i made it for because my my nephew, it's his favourite cake. So I made ginger biscuits and Victoria sponge for for Matthew when we went over there at the weekend. Mm. You finished your workout. You're hopping in the shower. Don't worry, you haven't missed the prompts. We'll wait for you. Tell us when you're back, Angie. We'll, um, Alison, we'll wait. Mm. Look, you can't even be bothered to get up from the chair. Mm. There you go, a little snack, because if I don't give you your snack, Cheryl's going to be saying, come on, Janet. There you go. Nice little chew there. He's got some fish. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Gosh, I feel quite worn out now. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Absolutely lovely. Very thoughtful. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, age, um, yes, you can eat a cookie. Yeah, you've worked out. <laughs> oh, how about you, Kimberly? Is it raining again this week? Or are you back out in the yard later? Thank you for joining me for starting the week. Oh, Beth doesn't mind that it's the same cake. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if he likes lemon drizzle as well. I'll have to ask him. I didn't put the cream in for Matt. Matt doesn't like the cream in his. It's got strawberries and cream in it. What is that? It looks stunning. I will post a recipe. Of course I will. Um, I will. I will. Um, I will post it in one of the Facebook groups, Alison. Definitely. Definitely. I, I was going to say I can put the link down. I, I'll put some link down below in the video and it's processed as well. It's called Victoria Sponge, a very, um, or Victoria Sandwich sometimes it's called. Oh, you're still travelling. You just had a coffee though. Oh, Sue. Did you have Welsh cakes when you're in Snowdonia, Sue? And the other thing is Barra Breath. Oh, I love Barra Breath. I might make that for next week. Barra Breath is like a tea loaf that you put butter in. This is just a light sponge made with 
flour, sugar, eggs. Is that it? And and vegetable, vegetable um, cooking fat. So I don't use butter. I use a, an olive oil spread for mine. Yes, please put the link below. I will, Barbara dear. Mm. 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 Very nice. Mm. Oh, mm. and the thing is, Kimberly, it grows so much, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, here's Ali. <laughs> She's just in time for the prompts. Oh, Ali, I thought you were just in time for the snack. <laughs> How lovely. Welcome, Ali. Really nice to see you. It's got strawberry jam in the middle as well. And it has on the top, you just sprinkle some caster sugar on the top. Just a very traditional British cake. Isn't it, Sue? Mm. Yeah, you did. They were nice. Mm. Your daughter bought you some. I could make Welsh cakes for this. Let me let me try that. Sue, to remind you of your holiday, next week I'll make some Welsh cakes or barra bread. Yes. Let's celebrate the British Isles. Mm. Um, see if I can I can sort that out for you. I, I'm very wary of doing that. I just don't want to chuck people out of the chat. Let me see if I I can I just need to click on these. Um ah, there we are. Um add as mod. There we are. Yeah, no pressure to, um, if you're not feeling up to it, though, to put links in and things. Welsh cakes. Oh, I know. Me too. <laughs> Ali. Mm. So let me just show you a few more things and then we'll do our prompts. Another little owlet joined the family this week. I thought, oh, I'll do something a little bit different. I've got strawberry fabric there and same eyes and she's she's a little she's a little dare to be different very colorful and she she has dreams and aspirations as well do you know what she wants to fly away she wants to go and paint the rainbow that's her little dream and i say go for it <laughs> mm. yes you're just listening and you're going to catch up on the prompts tonight. No worries and no no stress, Ali. I know you have to work. Alison, I mean, I know you have to work. Mm. Oh, Sue had cream tea. Nothing like a Cornwall cream tea, though. Oh, well, only two and a half weeks to go and we will have a, a Cornish cream tea on st stream. Live from St. Ives. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Barbara, dear. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, they were eight by eight, um, Cheryl, dear. Eight by eight. Um, yes, so just another little owlet going to go. and She wants to spread her wings and fly. They all do. And we were doing the fabric painting last week. And because it was just for my slow stitching, I didn't use fabric paint to soften it. Mm. Oh, Sylvia. Yes. And Sylvia, you're going to make no rush. It's on your mind. You want to make a fabric journal as well, don't you, Sylvia? Yes. Oh. And you've been gathering the fabrics and buttons. It's great because it doesn't take too much, does it? And if you didn't, you could patchwork, even if you had tiny bits. You could patchwork an owl. Let's write that down. I'll make a patchwork owl for next week. <laughs> I'm, do you know I'm like this when I'm on people's screens or on Facebook or Instagram. I'm writing down the ideas all the time. So there were these little vintage fabric buttons. You can cover your own. And all I did was do some little painting and pen in fabric. And there to go on my, in my fabric journal as well. Mm. Thank you. You're going to post that link. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh. 
Kimberly, yes, yes. <laughs> we went last year, didn't we, Kimberly, dear? And the other thing, I did the postcards last week. This one's not finished. I haven't put anything on the back. But Cheryl said the word. Can I get that to focus? Friendship. I'm not quite sure whether you can make that out, but I've put some silver on this. And just as an FYI, and by the way, I used the gutter that I had from another project when I think it was a hashtag time for art Friday hop when I did the silk painting and it's use it or lose it. So now I'm using this on my fabric. And it's great. It it sort of soaks in. It's not too bubbly. Of course, it's very subtle because my everything I make is very busy, very busy. Mm. You will be filming your process on your YouTube channel, right? Yes, I will be over there. I've written it down. I've written it down. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I've written it down and then I just did some more using up the little dots of paint nothing amazing but these will just get cut up and put onto slow stitching just doodling with the little leftover bits of paint and what else I just wanted to share this gorgeous postcard this postcard's from Donna Donna Matei I love the way she's done a line of stitching around the, it's done as a proper postcard. <laughs> and it's a double edge. Doesn't that look effective? Colleen Scratchit was doing um, some stitching on her ephemera. Very effective. That was on Friday, I think she was showing it. It's great. I'm leaving it here as a reminder to do the same. Very effective. Mm. Very effective. I also look at this Christmas in July from Nettie. Isn't he an absolute deer? What a little deer. Isn't he gorgeous? Ah, isn't he lovely? And Jules. A little Christmas in July from Nettie. Thank you for thinking of me, Nettie. And also a little bag of die cuts. Look at these die cuts, Teresa. It's, it's a bauble and on a ribbon and Merry Christmas. That will go there ready for my Christmas journal. Hmm. <laughs> lovely image on the postcard yes so like in a in an English country garden or anybody's country garden mm. really nice oh Cheryl's doing some maths goodness me Cheryl you must have had your coffee <laughs> thank you Nettie Nettie dear and also Donna with the card said thank you for organising the, I think it was napkin and washi tape swap, sent me some washi tape on a card. Brilliant, because I'm collecting the cards. I'm trying to get a pack, like Brittany does, of all the different types of cards. And another one, this one was from Ali. Ali sent me some, so thank you, Ali. That's Ali Cousins in the chat. Yes, isn't that ATC sweet? I know, I will treasure it. I might save it and put it in my Christmas journal. Hmm. Oh, 36 inches. Um, yeah, in a yard, says uh, our resident maths expert here. In an English country garden. Barbara's singing. So, and Ali sent me some washi tape too. So, thank you. I'll pop it there and I will be using it. I might even use it for the prompts. So, without further ado, maybe it's time to do the prompts. But just in case I forget at the end, because wonderful Lizzie, I always appreciate the fact that Lizzie reads to us at the end. 
I sometimes forget, so I, I'd like to read to you now. Oh, Angie, you haven't used washi. Um, I, I just love it. And I some of it is transparent too. So if you put it on over book pages, um, yes, I think it was probably Meljoy that got me into using washi. Hmm. This was a little quote, and this quote is from lovely Alicia, and I wrote it straight down. This is my magazine journal, the Nicole Relax Cut Glue Journal. And it was a travel magazine that I folded and cut, as she does. But some of the pictures I'm just leaving as they are. That's magazine there. But this was in the travel magazine, and I thought, what? A peaceful image, the reflection into the water, absolutely lovely. Mm. Barbara says, you love um, store-bought or homemade washi. Yes. Um, Barbara, correct me, you, know, we might, you might do it differently. I use double-sided tape and painty paper, for instance, or... Book pages make lovely homemade washi. Mm. Here's Alicia. Oh, Alicia's been dyeing fabric on her balcony, haven't you, Alicia? This says, it's not what you gather in life, it's what you scatter that shows the life you have led. And I loved that. It reminded me of a similar quote that Bar Barbara shared. I can't quite put my finger on that now. Let me go to my quotes because I do, I do treasure the quotes that you um, share with me. Um, this is when we were doing the typewriter quotes. Uh, let me see, what was that one? Hmm. I. It was something about being defined, wasn't it? Um, let me see. I'm reading now. I do apologise. No, I can't find it now, but I can, I can nip it down below later. Mm. You use double-sided tape with all kinds of paper and very light fabrics. Yes, yes. This is a light fabric washi. That was on my Happy Mail from Laura. That's lovely, it's got, got a nice texture. Good morning, Laurie. I I'm, would like to catch up on Laurie's latest video doll hop process video. You've, you're making another doll, aren't you? You made the little ones out of the rounds, now you're making another one. I need to play catch up. Mm. So I can't remember what Barbara's quote was. It's very similar. It's not what you gather in life. It's what you scatter that shows the life you have led. I love that. Even if it's just a little smile along the way. Hmm, I love that. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. And I'll, I'll leave that with you. I could write it down below as well, just in case um, you forget. So let me put that down there with my wonderful dar material. This is my, oh, got a new system. This is my things that I've gathered for my prompts that might help me along the way. And I've taken out some of the, some of the ones that we've had. And I've added new ones, put some back, and I think we've got about 140 here. So let's see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Spalatters. Mm. Oh, it wasn't that one, Barbara, but that's a really lovely one. When you judge another, you do not define them, you define yourself. Wow, yes. If I may ask you, because that's quite long for me to write down, it, it, I know that you may, you may be able to email that to me. Thank you, Barbara. 
for me to write down and pop in my journal. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Right, yes, let's pick some. And um, yep, it's very random. So let me dig down because some are smaller than others. They're all different sizes. One. I'm not looking. I am looking. You can't see that I'm not looking. I'm not looking, honestly, because I'm looking at chat. Mm. Thank you, Barbara, dear. One, two. I'm looking at Freddie. Three. I haven't got the camera at the angle on me today. Three. Four. Anyway, it's more fun when it's random, isn't it? Five. Yes. So six. Ooh, right, okay. Now, seriously, mm, we could use the fabric for a fabric book for backgrounds. Oh yes, what a good idea. What a jolly good idea. Mm. So there we are. Um, let's go. I am going to today, I'm going to use. I'm going to make ATC cards. <laughs> now, will I regret not putting a background on? I don't know. Oh, I can already see um, Barbara very efficiently has already emailed me. That's super. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm. So let's go. This is just to start you off. You can do ATCs. You can do postcards, your journal. You can just have a little rest. And like I did when I was watching Lizzie when I wasn't well, just enjoy it. I It's just fun watching somebody else art. <laughs> we'll keep you company. Hmm. And ask me for alternatives. Now, the first one, this is why I say my prompts are so random. It says, use a yo-yo. Okay. So... If you don't know what a yo-yo is, let me just go and get my slow stitch kit. Where is it? Here. Now, Angie, <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> I have my Angie yo-yos here. It's my lovely slow stitch kit. And I've got this that I could make into a yo-yo. Hold on. Oh, no, you need to gather it. No, okay. Let me just... You could think laterally and, and make a yo-yo like you played with when you were a child. Or you could make a round shape. Or you could ask me for an alternative. Mary, hello, welcome. We've just literally started to um, do our prompts. And the first prompt, so it's, it's a mixed media, mixed media prompts. Ask me for an alternative if it doesn't suit you. And I don't see, now Angie is the expert. Do you do it, which side do you do it on? So you do, you gather the material like this. I'm doing this just in case people don't know what a yo-yo is. I fortunately had some circles cut out because I was I was making the eyes for the owls, wasn't I? Yeah. Mm. Oh, your art journal pages are ready for the prompts. Alternative, please, says Deb. Deb, I don't blame you. That's a very funny first prompt. I'm randomly pulling this out, hoping. No, I'm putting that back because I know that's one of my other that I've just put in, and it, it will be it will be very random. Add white. So the next prompt is add white. I'll pop that up there. So that could be gesso. Oh, it could be magazine. It could. Oh, it could be anything. A white picture. A white dress. What was the first prompt? The first prompt was Teresa, add a yo-yo, and I'm just 
making a yo-yo here just in case someone doesn't know in 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 England we call these what do we call these Ali something puffs Suffolk puffs it's the it, it's the American way to call them yo-yos back in the day this is how they used to use scraps of fabric and make um there we are and make quilts from them then you just gather it up like so there we are we have made a yo-yo or your alternative is and then you just pop some stitches like this you can hold that yo-yo and add it later if you like Oh, you're adding a white button. I love it. Suffolk, Suffolk Puffs. Yes. There we are. Thank you, Vanessa, dear. We've made a little yo-yo and then you sort of just stitch it in there like that. Do you know, do you know, they, they say, I'm going to stitch it onto here now, that um, I'm just going to randomly stitch it on. Why not? Um, doing things live do you normally i find making a yo-yo really fiddly <laughs> oh dear but i just that one just came together i must thrive on being live <laughs> i love it there we are that one's got a yo-yo Angie's saying, oh, I can't do that prompt. I need an alternative. I haven't got any yo-yos. <laughs> there we are. And I'm going to get, ooh, one of Angie's lovely yo-yos. And you can glue it on or stick it on. You've always made your yo-yos with buttons. Mary. Do you mean you put the button in the center to, to help you form it or you sew a button onto your you sew a button onto your yo-yo? What do you mean, um, Mary? Thank you. Coming straight into the chat with some um, helpful comments there. I'm looking, I'm taking what Mary says, although you haven't even answered me. Uh, yet oh look I'm doing pink dot dotty button on stripy fabric I'm loving that hmm Mary I would love to see some of your yo-yos maybe you could post them in Beth's group yeah oh look at Freddie I really have worn him out today haven't I I'm gonna sew a button on that one hmm Sew a button in the centre. Wow. I can't even see the hole, Mary. Um, I need to put my glasses on. Where are my glasses? There we are. Thank you for that prompt. We're prompting each other. I love that. Any ideas, just pop them straight in the chat. I love that. Oh, did you have to reboot, Cheryl? That's really frustrating when that happens. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> You're arranging arty stuff. Move from a small room into the big dining room. Oh, wow. And you've got your camera set up now. Look at Freddie. He's looking out of the window. Oh, what, me, Mum? <laughs> yeah, you. Hmm. And you're busy filming and prepping. Are you on in the evening or, um, or the morning? I'm on in the morning. First thing after Mary, and I think that's going to be at, um, let me see, what time, there we are, six o'clock, six a.m., six a.m., I will leave links down below when this is processed for the hop on Friday, there we are, Add a yo-yo. And you're right. 
it does look really nice with a button in the middle. Excuse me for being really slow with these prompts. I'm just gonna, oh, oh, look at that. That's, um, that's lovely. Beautiful color. These little bits in here are from Laura. Janice. I must have missed saying hello to Janice this morning. I bet Janice was here and I missed her. How rude. I message her. Laura, Janice and Ali. The little treasure trove. Hmm. So let's just go down in there. There we are. Great idea, thank you. It's great to, great. We all get such inspiration from one another. I love it. There we are. Pop the button in the middle. Ow. <laughs> I need, um, ah. Oh. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Vanessa. And you'll be, you're on too, aren't you, Vanessa, dear? What time are you on? Are you on in the morning, Vanessa, dear? Yeah, I would suggest that you pop the, don't, yes. Pop it on the yo-yo before you sew it on the card. That would probably be the best way. Yes, you are. I do. My, I have got one. I will fetch it. This little vintage one used to have, that's the place for the thimble. <laughs> it's somewhere. I will find it. Right, there we are. I'm loving that. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape behind that stitch. Just for the look of it on the uh, behind. And also just to keep it on. So just some of my lovely washi. That's from from Ali. There we are. And another one. There we are. So it's Ali Yo Yo. Ma right. Mary Kay has a channel. And I need to I need to catch up with that. I actually may be subscribed and, and I'm missing it. Um I apologise if I am. Thank you. Yes. You love to put buttons on your yo-yos. Makes them look like flowers. Yes. Precisely. So, next one. Here comes Janet. My prompts. I apologise for your pages. Now, this one says, add an ice cream. That's very summery. Uh, you can ask me for an alternative. Good morning, Becky. Oh, Becky, how are you? How are your sinuses? And she's got sinus problems. Mm. Thank you, Teresa. I'm going to look that up. I'm definitely going to look that up. I made for... And where I got this prompt from, this was from my Aunt Bex, one of my pages from Aunt Bex Summer Journal. I made some, these are lollies, but ice cream washi on book paper, on double-sided tape. Where's the other ones? Can't find them for the minute, but I don't think I've got any left. So I'm going to make some more ice cream washi. <laughs> ice cream or lollies. Do, uh, oh, you're on antibiotics. Oh, yes, you were. Yes, on, on it for the full 10 days. Yes, yes. I do hope it's it's improving for you. Oh, there was, Deb, yes, yes, that's probably me. There was an alternative to the yo-yo, and that was white. Yeah, never be afraid of popping in and asking. Yes. So Aunt Bex, the, they're not disappointing, these prompts at all. <clears throat> um, first one is add a yo-yo. 
or white as your alternative. And the second prompt is add an ice cream or a lolly, something summery. You might be able to find it in, ooh, look. You might be able to find one in a magazine. Ooh, in, in a food magazine, in a local, with your local food magazine, they send you, this is a free magazine. I bet there's ice creams and lollies in here. It'll make it nice and summery. Oh, look, yes. Ice creams and lollies, love it. Do ask for an alternative though. Mm. Oh, there's the link to Mary's channel. Thank you, Mrs. Gigi. You are good. So, yes, let's just pop some double-sided tape on there. And I'll make some more, more washi tape because those pictures are a little bit big for my... But I just... I, if that's interesting I've literally just that's one of my new prompts and there's still time to catch up with Becky's summer journal on a Wednesday her live we, we've done July and August but you could catch up it's lovely lovely prompts lovely to think that a lot of us are doing the same prompts am I no I'm gonna keep that out right and then all I did was make some ice cream cones like that. Now we'll make some more. Oh, lovely. And I like it when you get the flake out of the top. That's the chocolate. Do you have those in? Ooh, lovely. So, oh, I need to do two because so I'm doing two. Sneakers. <laughs> oh, Aunt Bex, if you don't feel any pressure, if you want help, you know, if you want to, what do you call it when you have a, like a meeting? We can brainstorm together. Let, we can, let, we'll have a, we'll get together on a, like a FaceTime or something with people. And have a brainstorm idea. Never any pressure on that. There we are. Done some ice, two ice creams. So that's my washi. And I probably could. Ooh, look at this. I have got a gelato. Just going to make it more pink there. There we are. Lovely, lovely. And maybe I'll make the chocolate brown. Mm. Mm. They call that a 99. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, nice. And I always like to add, oh, Sue, take care. You'll catch up. You're on the journey. If you run out of data, it's so safe journey. And we'll chat later. I'd love to see some of your photographs. You take care. Thank you. I'm glad we could keep you company on the journey. Bye, Sue. Hope the road's not too busy. Mm. <laughs> there we are. I just put a little bit of white on. And as Aunt Beck said, if you can't get your jelly roll pens to work might mean you're pressing too hard oh i think that's because that's on the wax of the gelato so I just put some there we are this is fun isn't it there we are just a quick little make some washi cut some did anybody ask for an alternative
and it's 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 lovely to see everybody's there we are room for one more but i will do that later if, so prompt number one yo-yo or or add white and prompt number two was add an ice cream mm. oh i think i think a book of glories are they are they american where you have it in like a a dish you said the ice cream parlors didn't you and because it's double-sided tape you just need to take the tape off the back and then you have some washi i love it if you can if you can peel it off that is there we are hold on there we are oh lovely and i'm literally just going to stick that on there it's not making much sense at the moment but Oh, when has life ever made sense? And that's some, that's left over from when we made the unicorn papers. Do you remember that? Mm. You oh, Sylvia, you made a yo-yo. Oh, you hadn't made one for ages. Do you know, I've only just started making them. I only heard about them from my American friends. Congratulations, Sylvia. That will be a nice um addition to your thanks mary for for your fabric journal and i did make a little owl with yo-yo eyes the other day cheryl's working on your paperclip magazine dolls oh how wonderful oh i did like your paper dolls inspired by Christina's craft shack she's making some wonderful paper dolls at the moment with perfume bottles isn't she hi Christina Christina's in the in the replay hi to all you replayers <laughs> mm. all your jelly -Rem pens work except for the orange one. Oh. Oh, right. But that's a good tip, Candy. Oh, and Candy Candy does know these things. Yes. Candy, I, I might have missed it. How are you feeling today? Because I know you've got bronchitis and people were suggesting honey and, oh, it's a bit so Mmm. Oh, yes, Mary. Oh, Mary, I will. Here's my little slow stitch owl. Oh, she's little... Little Miss Rainbowy Sunshiny. <laughs> oh, we've been having fun making these, um, Mary. <laughs> oh, shall we have another prompt? Was that was? Did I keep her up there long enough? Oh, thank you, thank you, Mrs. Gigi. <laughs> You're about the same, oh, Candy. Oh, sending love. Hmm. Oh, you, it's just going to be one of those one of those days. Add triangles. Are we thinking this is making sense? No, we're not. But I tell you, by adding triangles, it might make a background. Ooh, could I use? Oh, I just am going to use some of my painty paper from our spray paper that we made today. Lovely. Add triangles. There we are. There's one triangle. Pop it under there. Let's do another one. You could use die cuts, anything. Oh, yeah, that's great to have a tip like that, isn't it? Because you just can't, you know, discard things. Ooh, lovely. Little torn triangle. I like that. Let's just cut this out. That's our paper. You've got to go. Yes. I hope your knee gets better. 
it's really frustrating because you you've got so much to do, Galan, haven't you? Mondays is your busy day. Sending you loads of love, Galan. You get well soon. Get that knee better soon. Take care. Mm. You're having an issue with your hand. Is that the one that you had the op on? Um, or is that the other one, uh, Vanessa, dear? Mm. Yes, and um, you're going to be part of the hop, aren't you? This on um, one, two, one, two, three. I'll save that little bit. That will be nice on an envelope. I'm just going to glue them down. Where? Oh, where is the glue? The desk is quite challenged, isn't it? <laughs> if any, does anyone need? Does anyone need an alternative? You're typing one-handed. Oh. Yes. Well, you just do what you can. Um, I know you're there, Vanessa, do you? There we are. So I recorded a little video and that's going to come up tomorrow. I'll put that. It's my doll process video. And... Becky's very much inspired me for what I'm going to do on Friday. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> Just popping these triangles down here. I don't, I have no clue why and how and what it's going to look like, but it's my, going to be my little ATCs. There we are. Freddie's on the floor down there, aren't you, Freddie? I don't change the camera angle now I've got it right, because sometimes it just collapses. <laughs> okay, your granddaughter and her family are fixing to leave. You'll watch the rest later. Teresa, you take care and love to all your family. So lovely. Oh, oh Adele, hi. So nice to see you. Oh, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the live. That's lovely. Adele and I chat, don't we, in the in the comments down below. It's lovely. If you do, if you if you are on the replay, it's lovely. There's no pressure to comment. It, it's just nice to catch up and for me to get to know people. Mm, Adele, Adele, you're doing doing some sewing, aren't you? Some slow stitching. Mm. Hey, Josie, nice to see you. Hey, I haven't seen you for a while. Josie, correct me if I'm wrong. You're in Italy, aren't you? I might be wrong. Just below you, Sylvia is in France. Our worldwide community. Another prompt. We've got prompts. If you've just come in, we've got... Add a yo-yo or white as an alternative. Add ice cream, add an ice cream and add triangles. So this is what I've got so far. So far, so good. Now, what do you think this is gonna be? Oh, use a metallic color. I like that one. It's on a map. Use a metallic color. Oh, lovely. I think I will go round. Let's get. Oh, look at this. I think my lovely metallic colours are in this. Uh, let me see. It's quite nice to see what people have got on their desk, isn't it? Oh, there's a nice silver there. I'll use that. I think the gold has run out. There we are. I used it too much. Sam bought me these pens. Hmm. Oh, did Josie say? Yes, you are. Italy in the house. <laughs> you can use paint. I'm going around with this silver. But I might actually want to get, I'm going around with the silver. I might want, my paints are over there and then I have trouble with them drying. So I can get my washi. 
Oh, look at this. I love this. Silver. Just doing a little border. I love that. And let's get my... That, do you know, doesn't this come in very handy? I think... Wasn't this Beth's idea? You did it with napkins. Hmm. Let's see if I've got any metallic painty paper here. Let's have a look through. There we are. But if you you can if you've got paint, you can get your paint out. I just think because I'm live, I put it everywhere. Ooh, that's a lovely metallic sheen to that paint. I love that. That's drop paper. It's got some gorgeous things on it. Ooh, I love that. Add metallic. Right, I am going to do that. I'm going to add a little metallic heart. Just because I can. Oh, I love that. Some lovely fresh colours here. There we are. No, I'll do it this way. It's lovely. You can even these little scraps like this turn out to be fantastic for. There we are. Janet! Good morning. Oh, lovely. Lovely to see you. Welcome. Come on in. So nice to see you. Nettie. Good morning. Freddie is down there. He has been on his throne, but he's just gone down there. Nettie, I was showing people your lovely, cute gnome that you made me. Mm. We have got a lot of room helpers, haven't we? That's so lovely. I love it. So many lovely people. There we are. Just sticking down a heart, just because I can. And at the end, you can add whatever words you like. If the word prompt doesn't come up, you can add words if you want to. There we are. I've done metallic around the outside, and I've got a little metallic heart made with painty paper. Just do that. Go around there with the metallic pen. Loving that. Ooh, love it. Love it. Love it. There you go. <laughs> yes, we love it. Sorry. Oh, do you need an alternative? Sorry, Deb, dear. Hey, Deb. <laughs> nice to see you. It's Deb Farrell. And um, if we're not, let me let me read the prompts out again, just in case. So we've got um, we've got use a yo-yo, or the alternative is use white. Then we've got add an ice cream. Oh, thanks, Dar. And add triangles and add metallic. And please do ask me if you want alternatives. And if I if I don't answer, um, shout at me in capitals. Hmm. Oh, capitals aren't shouting. I mean, just draw my attention. Hmm. Nice to see you, Deb. Deb. Deb's been. At, Deb, you've got a doll process video up, haven't you? I need to familiarise myself with them again. Uh, and you're part of the hop for the first time. Am I getting this right, Deb? Am I Deb Farrell? Oh, now the next one is, oh, add number five. I've crossed out 51 because we've had 51 before. So five from a magazine. So pick a magazine and... This one, 
Let's do the summer one, why not? It's lovely, we've got two dogs in the house. <laughs> Ooh, do I like that? I think it's a bit big, but there, there might be some words. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And if I don't, I will, I'll just get another magazine. I'm not gonna pressurize myself. Oh, you haven't, you haven't yet, right. Maybe I watched a live and you were talking about it. I wasn't, yeah. So you might, oh, look, I'm loving this. Um, if you haven't got pictures you like on your page, there might be words. And if they're on, go to the back page, pick another magazine. Let I don't, you know, it's not. We're not pressurizing ourselves. And I have actually torn one of the letters off, but that doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it's it says let's share. I need to find another L from somewhere to stick on. There we are. So I'm just cutting out words. Oh great idea. Or you could cut out ransom words if you can't find it. Or you might have a wonderful picture on your random magazine. For every day. Oh. Josie, have you got a channel too? Because that'd be lovely to find out if you have. There we are. So lovely. Welcome, welcome home, Vanessa. Um, Josie. So nice to see you. This is very fiddly diddly. It's tiny little L because I ripped the other L off in my excitement. See, even on a magazine where you think, oh, there's not much. Now, if you want fun, that's on the replay that. Beth might redo it again. Did magazine prompt bingo? I'm going to do it again, Beth, because that was fun. Oh, do you know? No, that's all over my fingers. Let's get another L. If it's not easy, I need to find another L. Oh, goodness me. Ah, oh, there's one. Is that going to cut a word out? There's a there's an L. There we are. Just a slightly fiddly diddly. Mm. Wait, what's prompt five? I'm confused. Don't worry. Oh, right. Yes. Don't. This is this is inspired by Nicole Relax Cut Glue. So you take a magazine and you go to page five. And sorry, I glossed over it too quickly. You go to page five and then you use an image or words that are on page five. Does that explain it? Obviously, if you can't find anything on that, just pick another magazine. Um, we, you know, we're not going to send the prompt police round, you know, it is just for fun. Does that explain it, Alison Moore? Use page five from a magazine or newspaper. And I didn't have very good pictures on mine. Oh, well, there we are. Look at that. Um, That, is, that says, let's share. And there's some more words. It, it's the contents page. Got it. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, Angie. Okay, Janet and ladies, you're going to rest. You take care, Angie, and I do hope your sinuses improve soon. Take good care, Angie. And you may need to go to the doctors, see how you feel. Yeah, keep in touch. I'll see you in the other chats. Yes.
see you soon. Mm. Uh, there we are. And what else have I got? Oh, I love this word. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, mm. no, I, I love this word. Communities. That's lovely. And I'm going to change it a bit. Look, I've done the uh, communities. I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to, I haven't got Joe here to carve me a stamp. <laughs> no, I need a small one. But I'm going to put art communities or art community. I'm going to put, I'm going to strike that out and put a Y. There you go. Community. And let's see if I can ransom letter art. Yeah, let's ransom letter art. And in fact, it's probably time for you to be popping numbers in the chat. So pop, pop numbers in between one and a hundred. If and the one nearest or under or on just gets a tiny little happy mail. Nothing much, just a tiny little bit of love from me. <laughs> mm. Got it? Yeah. Okay, Deb. Yeah. Okay, Deb. There we are. Art. There we are. And stick that on. Shall I read the last prompt out to you guys? Oh, make a tuck spot. Make a tuck spot. So I'll probably make a tuck spot at the back of my ATC. If you're making a journal page, that is brilliant. Make a tuck spot. If you want an alternative, shout out now. If you haven't got room for a tuck spot, we could make a tiny tuck spot. Oh, you could make a tiny tuck spot. Oh, good idea. Popping in numbers, loving that. Oh, fantastic. I will need help because the chat is flying. How lovely. Do pop, thank you, Candy. Do pop numbers in the chat for people that have just gone, say like Angie, people that you miss, or yeah, anybody, people that aren't well. Even if people haven't been here, pop a number in and you want them to receive a little happy mail, pop a number in for them. Pop one in for yourself as well. Thanks, Barbara. Lovely. Lovely. So, did you get that? The last one was Tuck Spot. And it was a pretty random lot of prompts. And I didn't have a background. But that's quite interesting sometimes to see white space or lines. In this case, it's recycled cereal box. Becky. Becky Waters, um, I think I did say hi to you. I'm saying hi again. I don't think I've concentrated on you this morning. Um, so uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time with the family. Nearly time for them to go back to school. I, I bet you've been doing lots of art together. Such an arty family, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, thank you, Beth, dear. Beth's scrolling through the numbers for me. And I know where my phone is, so I'm not going to be a nightmare. Add a tuck spot. I'm going to add a tuck spot. I am. And I'm going to make a mini tuck spot. Yes. I am. I need it to be add a tuck spot. Yeah, I need it to be all the way down there. And then I can tuck something in. How lovely. I can tuck a little, yeah, I can tuck a little something in. Picked again, loving that. Mm. Well done, Vanessa. 
yes, I've got room for a tuck spot. I wonder what, and then you will, it'd be nice to create something to pop in your tuck spot. And I know what I like to stick in tuck spots. And it's nice if you're sending a little ATC to somebody that they there's a little something for them as well that they can create. So there's my little mini tuck spot there. A little mini tuck spot. And in there, got enough numbers? Tree, we're still going. I'm going to tuck some stamps in here. Some lovely colourful stamps. There you go. So the person that receives this, they can use them or just keep them tucked in. Right, is it time for me now to pick a number? Pick a number, any number. Ooh, lovely. There we are. I created a tuck spot. <laughs> so it is possible even with these tiny ones. Thank you, Janet, dear. Oh, lovely. Oh, yes, lovely. One for Becky. Lovely. Lovely. Still going strong on the old numbers. There we are. And oh, I did. Look, I did put art on there, but that's come, come off. I'll, I'll cut another A out. But for the minute, I will concentrate. Those up there. It's meant to have an A. It's fallen off. Where is it? It's probably on my elbow. I will random generate a number. If I have missed you today in chat, I so apologise. Message me or contact me and just say hi. Yeah. I don't mean to do that. Random number generator. Ooh. Oh, sorry. My phone's not, my phone's, oh yeah, there we are. Agree. Right. I've just put it on large now. Oh, between one and a hundred, I'll generate the number. You put in a number for you. You're paying attention. Scissors down. Okay, 50. Number 50. Who's got number 50? Now, thank you, Mo, for looking after the happy mouth. Mo looks after the happy mouth. What have we got? What have we got this week, Mo? You've been busy. You've been busy doing a knitting flow. Here's the little bookmark from my video. Vanessa, Vanessa Angel Rose has 50 on the dot. I'm loving that. Right, that Vanessa. There we are. So Vanessa, you you got a little bookmark that was from my slow stitch fabric video. That's the one I made in the actual rose garden. <laughs> and I shall pop it in one of my little envelopes here. I'll put No, I'll remember. I'll remember Vanessa. I can always ask you. I'll put bookmark so I don't. And I've got another one here. So I shall. What's in here? Some. Oh, I put one of the ATCs in here. And there's some heart bubble wrap. Ooh, this is from my. This is Happy Mouth from my process video that's going out tomorrow. So I can't show you too much. I'm going to generate a number my doll process video let's generate another one number one how interesting katie cat hi darling it's nearly time for friends at five katie ah oh. um an alternative to number six don't blame you didn't want a tuck spot i'm not looking i'm going randomly in here mitzi yeah Ooh. Add shiny tape mm. so that could be the copper tape with things underneath or metallic-y washy is that better for you Mitzi oh, nice to see you Becky 
Becky has number Becky has number one. Did someone put that number in for Becky? I do believe. Who was that who put the number in for Becky? How wonderful. Who popped that number one in for Becky? I, I think I, I did, says Beth. Beth, thank you for doing that. That's really kind of you. Thank you so much. I will be sending Becky one of my little things that you're going to see me making tomorrow <laughs> and without further ado I need to I need to let you go I need to say goodbye and I need to say thank you thank you so much for making uh today so special and goodbye to the replayers and everybody that's gently been listening in the background um oh what a great start to the week mm. Lovely. Thanks. Are you going to sit up there? Or oh, look, he's coming to say goodbye. He knows. He knows we're going. Nettie, goodbye, dear. Ah, oh, goodbye. It can be a get well card for Aunt Bex from Beth. But by the time it gets to you, it will. You will be better by then. Ah, <laughs> oh, Alison, goodbye, and Nettie. Oh, Nettie says goodbye, Freddie. Oh, that's so lovely of you. Tammy, goodbye. And Deb Farrell. And I know Deb is in the background too. Ah, oh, Deb Bissop, thank you for joining us today and playing along with the prompts. That's lovely. Sylvia, take care, take care. Congratulations on making your first yo-yo in a long while today. <laughs> and Janet, goodbye. And Carol and uh, see you all in streams. I'm wondering whether our gorgeous Rebecca from Rebecca Becca Creates is maybe coming on live today. Bye, Laurie, Janet Burgess, Janet B. Take good care. Take good care. Cheryl, bye. <laughs> Cheryl saying goodbye. Adele, goodbye. You have a blessed day too and a blessed week. Mm. Anne, take good care. And Sylvia, sending you love mm, all the way over to, down to France. Not that far away from me. And there's lovely Janet USA. Goodbye. Take care. And Mrs. Gigi. Oh, see you at the hop definitely on Friday. Starting at 5.45 Central Time on Mary's channel and there are links to in Fibsville for the hop see you there <laughs> Beth thank you thank you for joining me thank you to everybody for all your help the people in chat with all their say add a button say for instance and 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 help with links and thank you to Dar are you still there Dar dear thank you so much my wonderful that was lovely lovely to get a parcel and um, that's so lovely thank you so much i should be making my fabric flow journal <laughs> oh thank you alicia goodbye dear and thank you so much for sharing that quote that we can leave thank you alicia for popping in mm. we have had a lovely time haven't we I enjoy it. Oh, best times, best times. I love it. I'll leave you with this wonderful quote that Alicia shared with me. It's not what you gather in life. It's what you scatter that shows the life you have led. Mm. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye from Freddie and myself. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>